Hey peeps, yes, another edition of Elizabeth Taylor memorabilia. We've got some great little items uh, to showcase to you today. Items that once um, lived on the shelves in Elizabeth's home in Bel Air. And of course we all know, you know, her favorite animal was sugar, so she would have adorned her house with little trinkets of Maltese flavors here and there, I'm quite sure. So without further ado, let's take a little peek at some of the wonderful little sugar-like items that used to sit on the shelves in Elizabeth Taylor's home. Elizabeth Taylor has been surrounded by animals all her life. So it is no wonder that she would, if she could, take them wherever she went. Sugar became a very close companion to Elizabeth Taylor when she took to the world by when she took the world by storm during her fragrance era, traveling all over America with her beloved pooch under arm. When not touring for the perfume promotions, Elizabeth had created a private space filled with all the things she loved, including portraits and likenesses of her loving pooch, Sugar. For a wonderful collection of personal items that belonged to Elizabeth Taylor and came from the Julian's Auction House in 19, uh, sorry, in 2019, comes this beautiful decorative rectangle frame by Jay Strongwater. 200 rhinestones decorate this tiara designed frame and it was released as part of the Florentine collection in 2003. Here we see it houses a lovely image of sugar nestled into the pillows of Elizabeth Taylor's bed. On other occasions, we can also see a couple of ornaments which appear to have been made from soaps, uh, soapstone. And uh, looking at the back of them, they don't have any markings. So uh, we're not sure where they came from, but they're very, very cute and obviously represent uh, the likeliness of, or the like likeness rather, of sugar. Then moving along from there, we have from the uh, Tiny Ones Conversation Concepts, come these, uh, which, which create great pet gifts for people, comes these delightful mini Maltese Christmas tree decorations, vintage 1992. And then we have this wonderfully handcrafted and painted Maltese, which appears to have been especially made for Elizabeth Taylor. Underneath you can see the name Sugar, and there is also some other kind of inscription which we can't make it out of what it might be. But underneath is also accompanied by strips of, of glued on felt, as to protect the surface that, the, uh, that this lovely sculpture may be resting on. And then the piece of resistance is this very large sculptured piece. This original vintage sandy cast sculpture had been hand casted and hand painted in San Diego, California in 1987. It weighs over three kilos and measures three and a half inches wide by 12 inches in length. It would have made a wonderful bookend on Elizabeth's display cabinet. The underneath showcases a label and small felt pads. It's quite incredible. The, uh, the, the uh, little whiskers around the mouth and the eyes are very, 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 very real life. So there you have it, peeps. What do you think? A few little extra trinkets from the 30 year memorabilia collection, uh, keeping the legacy of Elizabeth Taylor alive, hopefully. Thank you for joining me uh, as I present some of these unique and very rare items from my 30-year collection. And thank you for joining me and sharing and liking. We have over 100 videos in our library and we're coming up to 300 subscribers, which is fantastic. So pop in, share and like, and keep the legacy of this beautiful woman alive. Until next time, take good care.